install mods in Borderlands 3, the first thing you're going to want to do is download B3HM from the link in the description and always make sure you keep it up to date. Once you have B3HM, place it in the folder of your choice. This is where it's going to remain whenever you are using mods. Now, when you're ready to use the mods, double click to open B3HM and if it gives you a prompt for the Windows firewall, just allow it through. It's nothing suspicious. It's just because it's an unregistered EXE that Windows detects it as a potential threat, but I can assure you it is completely fine. Once you've allowed it through, on the bottom right of your screen, you may see the icon for B3HM pop up right next to where the clock is on your PC. If you don't see that, click the arrow next to the clock and up will pop a box of icons which you should see the B3HM icon inside. Right click that icon and do open web UI. If you are unable to open the web UI via right clicking the symbol in the description of this video will be a link to the website it will open. Simply click that instead and bookmark it. When you are taken to the website there is going to be two options to install mods. We're going to go through each of them individually but if you hover over this video you will see timestamps to each one. The first one we're going to go over is adding mods via URL. The first step to doing this is to navigate to the mod repository on GitHub and find the mod that you're after. Follow the mod through until you get to the direct URL of the mod which shows you a page with the entire mod code. You do this by clicking on the mod in the pattern that I do in the video. Once you get to the page with the mods code on it, copy the URL which is in the URL bar at the top of the web page and you want to go back to B3HM, click add URL and then paste in the URL you have just copied. Click OK and then click on the mod that it adds to ensure that in the right side window it has properly added the code in. Once complete, you're ready to move on to the next step. To install mods manually, you want to do the exact same thing as before. This time, going to the code and now right-clicking, doing save as, and then saving the mod as a text file. Your mod should be saved as a .bl3 hotfix file, but if it's not, it's not a big deal. There are a lot of modders who say that you need a bl3 hotfix mod file, but for me, they work just fine with a txt file, so just bear that in mind. It's not the end of the world, but if possible, it should save as a .bl3 hotfix file. Just a quick reminder, if you don't know how to get mods to begin with, go to the repository which I'll have linked in the description and you can find a long list of mod creators with all of the mods they have made. You simply click on the mod you want, click on the BL3 hotfix file, go to where the code is, right click and save as. Once you have your mod file, in my case it's going to be my mod, the Redux mod, you go to the add local path button within the web browser and you're going to go and navigate to where your mod file has been stored. It is easiest to make another folder for your mods to do this or you can just place the file where you have B3HM like I do. So add your file and as we did before, click on it once it has been added and look in the right side window to make sure the code has been loaded properly. Assuming it has and assuming you have a working internet connection, which I can only guess that you do, the next step is for you to run Borderlands 3. But first, look for text in the bottom log of the website that says waiting for Borderlands 3. If you do not see this, then do do not launch the game because it will not work. You want to make sure that the mod loader is ready to patch your game the moment you load it. Assuming you do not see the message, close B3HM and the website and then reopen it like I showed you earlier on. And once you see waiting for Borderlands 3, load up the game and you'll know that it works because the moment the game loads, you'll see in that same very text box that startup movies have been patched. And also when loading Borderlands 3, there will be no startup movies. Now, Finally, once the game loads and you get to the main menu before closing the mod browser and B3HM and then going on your modded adventures, make sure when you check the log on the website, it says that the game has merged with your hotfixes. If it has not done this, it could be for a multitude of reasons. Maybe a browser error, maybe something like shift being down like it always is, but simply restart Borderlands 3, restart B3HM and try again. But assuming everything loads correctly and you are in game all you have to do from here is close b3hm and the website you don't need it now that your mods are loaded you can go on your modded adventures and yeah hopefully this video helped you guys out